Welcome to Andy's How I Did It channel. Today we're going to unbox the all new Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K and I'm going to show you how to set it up. In the end, I'm also going to give you a few hidden secrets to this stick that will make your user experience even better. So be sure and stick around all the way to the end and please like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed. Before we get started, I mean, some might wonder, why would you use a streaming stick? You already have a smart TV. Well, there's apps on there that you really can't get on every single smart TV. My favorite one's the Dish Anywhere app, which really the Amazon Fire TV stick is the only stick that supports Dish Anywhere and it supports it from anywhere in the world. They're also small and portable. So if you're ever going on a trip, you can usually take it out and take it with you without any issues. So it looks like here comes with a little Amazon branded five watt power supply. There's two Amazon branded AAA batteries included. The Fire Stick itself is wrapped in some nice plastic. And of course the Alexa enabled voice remote that's more intelligent than some of the last ones. We also have the micro USB cable for charging your device and what looks like an HDMI extension cable that's meant to keep the Fire Stick itself separated from the TV so that you can get the best Wi-Fi signal possible. The stick is about four inches long by a little over an inch wide. It has a standard HDMI mail adapter on it and a micro USB input for power that can also be used for a wired ethernet adapter in case your wireless signal isn't that good. It has a 1.7 gigahertz quad core processor, which is actually an upgrade over the last 1.5 gigahertz model. And it's even better than the recently released Fire Cube. It has a gig and a half of DDR4 RAM in it. It runs Fire OS 6, which is actually based on Android 7.1 Nougat. I'm not sure when they're planning an upgrade for that. It does have a new Wi-Fi antenna in it. It's got an 802.11ac. It's dual band and it's backwards compatible all the way back to B. So we're going to go ahead and take the micro USB cable and plug that in so that it's prepped for us when we install it on the back side of the TV. We're going to take the USB male end of it um, after we unwrap the power adapter and we're gonna plug it into the power adapter so we have everything ready. I should note that some TVs actually have USB power um, on the back of the TV and that is one advantage that you may take over having to have a separate five watt power adapter to plug in and a second outlet back behind your TV. So three cool tips for using this new Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. When you press the home button on the remote, it will change your TV to the fire input if you have CEC controls on your TV. If you hold down the home button, it'll give you three options to quickly go to apps, sleep the fire TV, or go to settings. Um, a second option that I like is you want to change the always on HDR to adaptive HDR. You'll likely get a better picture out of it. And my third tip, there's some really neat audio features like a volume leveler and a dialogue enhancer if you have more difficult time um, hearing or sensitive hearing. I put a link for the Amazon Fire TV stick down in the description. Um, if you like this kind of content please feel free to like and subscribe also if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments below and i'll do my best to get them answered thanks for watching